Objective Study about human respiratory system, the trachea and bronchial tree. The trachea The trachea or windpipe is a 10 to 12 centimeters long straight tube extending up to the mid-thoracic cavity. The wall of the trachea shows the presence of C-shaped hyaline cartilage rings along its length. These rings are incomplete dorsally. They keep the trachea open and prevent it from collapse. Smooth involuntary muscles and elastic connective tissue are also present in the wall of the trachea. The trachea is internally lined by pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Bronchi and bronchioles. In the mid-thoracic cavity, the trachea divides into the right and left primary bronchi at the level of the fifth thoracic vertebra, that is the twelfth vertebra of the vertebral column. The right primary bronchus is wider, shorter and more vertical than the left primary bronchus. Each primary bronchus enters the lung of its side at the hilum and divides into secondary or lobar bronchi which further divide into tertiary or segmental bronchi. Each tertiary bronchus divides and subdivides into primary, secondary, tertiary, terminal and respiratory bronchioles sequentially. Each respiratory bronchiole terminates in a cluster of alveolar ducts which open into atria. Each atrium is associated with five or six alveolar sacs. Each alveolar sac has numerous alveoli, each enclosed in a network of capillaries. The alveolus is the basic anatomical unit of gaseous exchange in the lung. The branching network of the bronchi and the bronchioles forms an upside-down tree inside the lung known as the pulmonary tree. The bronchi and their branches, up to the terminal bronchioles, make up the bronchial tree, whereas the respiratory bronchioles and their branches make up the respiratory tree. Incomplete C-shaped hyaline cartilage rings are found in the walls of the bronchi, but in the bronchioles they are gradually replaced by plates of cartilage and finally disappear. Smooth involuntary muscles are also present in the walls of the bronchi and bronchioles. The initial bronchi are internally lined with pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. In the smaller branches, the mucous membrane undergoes a gradual transition to simple cuboidal epithelium and finally to simple squamous epithelium from respiratory bronchioles onwards. The term respiratory tract refers to the passage starting with the external nostrils leading to the alveoli. It consists of two parts, the conducting portion and the respiratory or exchange portion. The part starting with the external nostrils up to the terminal bronchioles constitutes the conducting part. It transports atmospheric air to the alveoli, clears it from dust particles, humidifies it, and also brings the inhaled air to our body temperature. The respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts and alveoli form the respiratory or exchange part. It is the site of actual diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the alveolar air and blood in the pulmonary capillaries. The volume of air present in the bronchial tree is referred to as the dead space volume as it does not take part in gaseous exchange. It is 150 milliliters.
The trachea or windpipe is a 10 to 12 centimeters long straight tube extending up to the mid thoracic cavity. The wall of the trachea shows the presence of C shaped hyaline cartilage rings along its length. These rings are incomplete dorsally. They keep the trachea open and prevent it from collapse. In the mid thoracic cavity, the trachea divides into the right and left primary bronchi at the level of the fifth thoracic vertebra, that is the twelfth vertebra of the vertebral column. Each primary bronchus enters the lung of its side at the hilum and divides into secondary or lobar bronchi, which further divide into tertiary or segmental bronchi. Each tertiary bronchus divides and subdivides into primary, secondary, tertiary, terminal and respiratory bronchioles sequentially. Each respiratory bronchiole terminates in a cluster of alveolar ducts which open into atria. Each atrium is associated with five or six alveolar sacs. Each alveolar sac has numerous alveoli each enclosed in a network of capillaries. The alveolus is the basic anatomical unit of gaseous exchange in the lung.